Hi guys, another video Cigarettes channel. Today, me and a special guest, you probably got, you probably don't know who this is, but this is Kakaki Crusher. He is the number one ranked uh, player in Boxing Beta, and today he will be coaching me and unironically coaching you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have, be, have a small coaching session with him, and uh, yeah, if, if we, hopefully you guys learn from him. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe, and Kakaki, you ready, bro? Yeah, I'm ready, and I hope to give you guys some tips while I spark Sir Grizzle. Alrighty, alright, let's go. So I guess we'll do, what we'll do is the first one, we'll just fight like nothing, and then as you go on, you'll kind of give some pointers and general tips that you look for. I haven't fought like a diamond before, so this might be a bit difficult for me. That was bad. Yeah, dude, like, this is so difficult. Like, I don't know how you're able to beat people. Like, like you're able to, like, play comp all the time. Like, I don't know how people do it. It's it's, it's so weird. Well, once you get the, the strategy behind how to play, you you can you kind of maintain your skill you don't you don't get worse like it's been a couple weeks since i i last played i'm gonna be honest here i'm kind of rusty it's been like almost a month but once you get to a certain skill level you kind of remain at the same skill you don't lose very much of course there's always that one elo that you peak because like even if i pl haven't played in months i could probably beat a gold without any issue but um there's there's of course the the whole grinding factor but overall, I'm playing a lot better than the last time I fought you, which was like before season one. Because before, yeah, before I, the end I, of I, season two, or before the start of season two, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit like I, I fought you, I believe, during the summer. Boom! That was beautiful. Oh yeah, that was a punch. nice power. I learned that one uh, from actually from you. I watched what I did for my grind to hit platinum because I, I fought you before I hit platinum. So what I do is now I'm starting to look at different factors. But the thing is, is that knowing when to doing certain actions, because one of my issues was uh, for, and a lot of the issues for my fan base is uh, timing your dodges. One thing I'm noticing right now is you don't seem to dodge as much as most fighters. You, uh, if you probably know who I'm referring to, right? Like the spam dodges and the lower elo. No, spam spam dodging is a waste of stamina, and that's not a good thing to do, especially when you're fighting, especially higher rank players, because when you start spam dodging, uh, all people do have to do is wait for you to finish. Like if you're spam dodging, you lose all your stamina, and they'll have the stamina advantage, and it will put, set you up for failure. Yeah, agreed because right now I'm because what I'm noticing I'm doing as well which I'm doing kind of half like I, that's why I'm losing the round right now is you can kind of see that one issue that I have with my game is I'm very very um I dodge too much I guess so you can kind of see that I don't know if it's muscle memory for my end or for most people's end but you'll kind of see me do like a punch and then a back dodge afterwards right kind of like a so, do you suggest that I only do like one dodge and then like wait a bit, or what do you what do you think? I'll tell you a, a good way to to get your dodges down. I don't dodge every time I punch, but here's a good tip for dodging. So we when let's say we're trading punches, right? We're here in the middle. We're trading punches. The round just started. Sometimes when you're trading punches, all you have to do is a side dodge yeah. as you're trading punches because you guys are we're constantly throwing each other's punches right so mm -hmm. i know you're gonna punch me because we're trading punches so if i throw a side dodge you don't really have to time it but you just uh you just roll the side dodge and i guarantee you like nine times out of ten you're gonna you're gonna hit that side dodge because we're already trading punches mm -hmm. and so you're gonna get at least one side dodge and that's gonna it's gonna give you an advantage although it's not gonna be a big advantage you'll still give you an advantage it's kind of like what you said when we're trading punches and then once you get your block down to to a certain amount, right? I'll break it. Oh. You, you stop holding. No, no, you don't have to break it. You you kind of just uh, wait till the block comes back up. You see, I kind of dodge until the block came back up. That that's just the basics of block control. But sometimes you can change when you start block control. Like you don't necessarily have to wait till your block is like five HP. Sometimes I start my block control when it's at like fifteen HP, right? And then I continue to fight when it's at fifteen HP because that way I don't have to wait as long for the block to come back up. Agreed. And also, one thing I noticed that you're doing, I don't know if this is one of your tricks as well. Uh, I saw what happened is here. Just get my block, like, let's say 15 for now. 
what I've noticed is that whenever you'd go, you'd back up, and then as soon as the block started recharging, you'd start going in. Is that a trick? Oh yeah, that is a trick. Because when you when you're going in, then your when your block is regenerating, you don't have to, uh, you don't give them as much time to regenerate their stamina and their HP. Yeah. You so. give them less time. So then, like, let's say you have that moment, and then after that, I step back like this, and then as your block comes back, you're on your way already towards me. So yeah, here, let, let's keep, let's restart the round, let's just keep it, let, let's just go okay, back. Yeah. After this newfound knowledge, let's see how I do. <laughs> I already feel a lot better with all these tricks, like, I don't feel like dodging too often. That block management wasn't the greatest because I didn't get much out of it, but. Ooh, wait, 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 stop real quick. I just noticed something from your, did you use your dodge to get closer to me? Oh uh, yeah, I did actually. No, because I just noticed like I, 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 did, I did a step back right here and then you did like a side dodge here. I'll, I'll put it back on the replay just on my, on my channel just to kind of show you, uh, show the viewers what I'm talking about. But basically, can you explain that a little bit? Because I don't understand the body positioning for the person to be able to do those because I feel like when I'm like this there's no real way to get behind the opponent while you do that well let's say you just took a back dodge right you take a back dodge I put my position my camera on the side and so when I do a side dodge I, I get closer to you see that yeah so that is uh something I I've, I've been working on I don't use the, the the left side dodge because well my I guess my fingers don't like pressing Q right mm -hmm. so I always use E and it's a limitation I have but with that you can get closer to the opponent so they don't uh, so you can get closer to them and continue maintaining pressure. Yeah. The way you, the key way to maintain pressure is you control the center, right? It's very important to control the center because when you control the center, let's say you're right here, right? And you want to get away by going to the other corner, right? Try getting away to go to this corner. No, try like dodging because oh, okay. you're like low. So like a sound like this and then... See, so you, you try to get away to the corner, but because I'm control the center, I don't have to walk as far to get to you. Because I'm in the middle, I, I can go to all sides of the arena without having to walk as far as if I were over here and I was trying to get to the other side of the arena, I would have to walk all this distance, right? Yeah. But then if I was in the middle, I wouldn't have to walk as far. I could go, the distance I would have to walk would be halved to go from either here or to here. Okay. And so that's why when you control a center, when you have an advantage and you control the center, it's best to always stay remain in the center because no matter where your opponent starts running away to, you'll be able to, to follow him without having to run as much, meaning you'll okay. maintain your pressure and you'll That's... be able to continuously do damage. As long as you time them well, because there's, there's always timing. And the yeah. way to time is you just wait till after they dodge and when you see that they dodge. The one thing I learned from lower ranks is there's a lot of players that even me I'm victimized of is they have a lot of patterns. So you'll see a lot of players, every time they drop their guard, they're doing something like this, right? They'll always do that. So let's say... Um, you, you read, like, like you say, you keep control of the center and you read that every time you get close, he does like a punch dodge right away, right? All you would do is just walk up to the opponent. He does the punch dodge and you time it afterwards. Yeah. Everybody has, has their own, um, patterns. No one's an exception to it, but that's actually what separates a good player from a not so great player is the ability to see these patterns that people have and be able to exploit them. Like I know some people, they do a side dodge and then they back dodge like almost immediately. That, that's probably like something I would do to be honest. That's something I've seen a lot of players do. They do a side dodge and then they immediately do a back dodge to get away into the other corner. And once they're at the other corner, they just repeat the same process over and over until, again. Until they have their stamina and health back. <laughs> It's, yeah, until it's they have really their stamina and health back and so if you notice that they're doing that a whole lot you could just instead of punching immediately as soon as you come to them you can maybe wait till they do they do their side dodge and their back dodge and then you'll already be ready for it for them and catch them off guard what i've been doing more is a little bit of um of uh i think i think it's called baiting i'm not sure if you you, you do it but i what i would do is a lot of this so i'm just a little bit out of your range and i just kind of fake it I don't know if that's something you you guys do, but oh yeah, that's something a lot of high high rank, high elo players do. They do a lot of fading. So let's say uh, you you go in the corner. This is kind of something what they would do to bait. They they come back and forward, and then especially when you're on low block. So let's say you have low block and you're trying to get your block to regenerate, and you're in the corner, right? Yeah. They do a lot something called baiting, and that many times is that that would bring the player out. And as soon as the player comes out, like let's say you come out, and then you see you start punching, and as soon as you're going back in. 
as soon as you go you back out because you 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 realize that it was a bad idea to, to come like, rush me it's too late because i'm already doing damage to you on your way back yeah. and you know i like to do this like when i i stand in the corner i stand on the side and then i like to do this back and forth movement with my mm -hmm. a and d keys that's it's also easier. just bait. It's easier there. that's just bait that's my way of, of using baits. It's just easier for me to do. For So just to apologize for anyone that uses target focus, uh, for most of these dodging tips, these are not really made for you guys because you guys are on target focus. I understand for, um, I believe it's mainly, um, it's mainly for uh, mobile players. It's a lot tougher for thing. If you can't uh, get used to it, just keep target focus. I've seen a lot of high rank platinums that use target focus. Um, Actually, you know, I think the best player at the moment currently uses target focus. Yeah. He quit too, but he, he uses target focus, but he uses the side angle. I don't yeah. know what type of difference that makes. I don't yeah. use target I, focus. I, I forgot all the, the thing. I know there was, the one that I liked was bird's eye, but anyways, let, let's see let's see how I do for the last few fights. Oh, I thought I had it. That was a good dodge. That was a dodge combo. I forgot to talk to, to elaborate on dodge combos. So... Uh, here, you know what? Let's restart. Yeah, that, I got you. Well, let's talk about dodge combos. There's two different, there's different types of combos in the game. There's a, these are what as terms Ascender created, you know, the old player yeah. Ascender. I anyway, these are terms he created. He created terms called A play and slugger. So a slugger is just a two double punch. It was just a double punch back dodge or double punch side dodge, right? So anyways, there's double punch and side dodge. That's what I did when I dodged your power punch. I double punched okay. you and I hit you with a side dodge. The first punch, you go for a timed punch. And the second punch is more of a spammed one. So it, does, it okay. should do like uh, on your shield, it should do five and then two damage like that. You see five and yeah. two damage. So that's a quick double punch and then a side dodge. And then there's also different types of uh, dodge patterns. There's like double side dodge patterns. Players like Rez so what, and like this I bit? use this quite often. No, it's not that one. Although I've seen people do that one. I've seen players to do that side dodge combo. I never did that because like I told you earlier, I can't use cube very well, so I can't do the yeah. double like that. But I use just a double E, so it looks like that as I'm fighting. But then I have okay. punches in between, so when I punch, it goes like that. Okay. You see how I can punch in between my side dodges? And I typically do that when I'm in the corner. So let's say you're, you're rushing me. I typically do that and I get I get two dodges. Another combo I like to do is a double punch and then a back dodge. But I do it while I'm spinning away. So you, I kind of make it hard for you for to you follow. angle to reach me to while I'm double punching around you. That get that gets me a question though. Because I noticed you use a like, a like the all uppercut build. Do you think that's kind of like meta or is that just a thing you're used to oh uh, well originally started because it was a bit it was a bit faster like the animation was faster and it, it would be able to do more damage with it like in the past when, it, when the first build update first came out mm -hmm. and that's why players started picking up on it the, the really high elo players they would use it because it was faster and you would do more damage but eventually i'm pretty sure that got patched and so it's just the same as any other build the okay. build doesn't matter the old uppercuts it's just something that i used since the beginning so it's something that i became used to seeing and i kind of like i kind of developed my pattern around it because you, you see i play on the side you see how i play yeah. on the side so the lead see, hand and because my hand is on orthodox i'm yeah. using my left hand right yeah but let's say i switch my build to southpaw and then i i start fighting i can't play on the side because look now you see i'm not yeah. doing damage to you it's I'm, a bit confusing. Yeah, I'm not doing damage all the time because I'm playing in south, so now I have to play like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, build doesn't really do anything. The only thing that uh. maybe does benefit players is using a build like um like the tight right dodges tight left dodges or or peek that's the only way that's going to change anything there but oh, i think it changes things because it, it per when people are higher uh elo the way that they they time is they they look at the they look at the dodge and they they you know when they see you dodge then they punch after your dodge is complete right but that, since you're moving when that you dodge they can see when you're yeah when your dodge is over Ah, you waited for it. That was nice. I was trying to get some double punch combos in there, but... That's part of kind of predicting your opponent and trying to adapt to your opponent. Like, you know how I waited? That, that's yeah. just adapting to your opponent. Trying to figure out what they're going to... You see, after I punch you, I kind of punch you twice and then I start to wait for you to dodge. Yeah, because you, you could kind of see, like, how I react I after I punch you. 
Yeah, I can kind of tell that you, you're wanting to dodge, so then I kind of wait for your dodge to happen. Oh, that was nice. There, I knew- there, I'm- I kind of used your trick against you. Yeah, you caught me off guard. I didn't expect her well, to be Well, you were explaining, so I can't really tell if you really got caught by it, but... <laughs> No, no, you, you caught me off guard. <laughs> No, but uh, what I did there is, well, I'm probably going to die here anyways, but what I did is I knew that you waited, so I, I went aggressive on purpose to throw the power punch. Yeah, they're, they're, it's very difficult to play against you. All right, yo, so as you guys could see, um, Kakagi isn't here anymore. Uh, he had to go. The thing is, as you guys see that my elo has gone down by four. Uh, I fought a few times, so here I'll show you guys. So yeah, as you guys could see, um, I have lost a few games. So as you guys can see, ranked. I fought these two, which I won, but I fought very high elos. Uh, he told me to fight these very high elos, and I lost pretty badly on both. Um, so I decided... Uh, so he told me to fight these 1900s. He says around 100 is, is good. So I'm fighting around the 100th range. Uh, I'm going to try and fight a 2000, if not a 1900 to, to win. I really want to get... Uh, I want to hit 2100 before the end of this video. So I'll see if I can do it. But yeah... Uh, the, the video, uh, I, I had it recorded, but, um, yeah, it was a very sloppy, uh, video. It didn't, it didn't sound good. So I'm going to try and just put everything that he taught me into perspective and we should be okay. Alrighty, let's see if we can get it. So I can't find a 2000 in the server. I think I'm the highest elo. Oh, there's one more, but he's fighting over there. So, um, we're going to be fighting this 1941, which is a, a little under a hundred. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so he's very, very, very uh, timing heavy. I'm just gonna try and keep control of the center. I'm gonna try and dodge a bit more because uh, he is uh, he is um, a lot more uh, punching. His stamina is low, so I'm just gonna. Boom, big power punch, knock him down. That was beautiful. He's on a stamina uh, break, so I'm going to completely rack him. So that was good. I lost the health at the beginning, but I did a lot better at the end. So let's see if we could try and keep it going for the next few rounds. So I could see already that I got way better because um, I after fighting those higher ranks, it really puts a lot into perspective on how an actual high rank fights. So, uh, he is very, uh, he likes to punch a lot. So I'm just going to try and throw in a, a dodge here and there. He has low stamina, so I'm going to break his block. Okay, that was a good power punch on his end. So I'm just going to be a bit more aggressive. I'm going to be very aggressive here. His stamina is very low, so I'm just going to focus his block. Beauty. Since he punches a lot. So he's just going to start spam dodging here. So I'm just going to. So he kind of got out of that stumble. So I'm just going to keep attacking his block. He's slightly panicking. He's gonna power punch his block, and then we win. So yeah, we just have to be a little bit more careful. This guy, I think I checked his thing. He was like a 22 or 2300 last year, or last season. So, uh... That was beautiful again. He does a lot of double punch combos, so I'm just gonna try and watch those. Fake it out. That was not a good one. I'm just gonna be careful of that. That was not a good block management. That was beauty again. Let's just be careful again, because he's just doing he's gonna as soon as he gets close he punches, so I'm just gonna I'm dodging at the worst times. 
He, every, I, I try and dodge after his first punch because that's when he he always throws a second one after he throws that first. Let's use the dodge to get close to him. Good job again. Wait for his stamina to die down. Power punch. He got knocked down. Beautiful. You could see that after the tips, you could see I'm way more aggressive. I'm I'm going less into my passive playstyle. It's a little bit of a new playstyle for me, but 2100. Nice salute for me. Uh, GG's. Hey, we got someone matching me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. GG's. That was, that was good. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, dudes, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Sorry, it's just one fight, y'all. Um, yeah, the other fights were not entertaining and they were kind of buggy. So, uh, yeah, that's all it is for today. Thank you so much for Kaka uh, for helping out with this video. Number one ranked in the game. It takes a little bit, even for me, even if you're getting coached by the best player in the game, guys, it takes a little bit for you to uh, actually get better. So, thank for, thanks for him to giving me the pointers. Now it's, now it's up to me to actually build up these pointers and get better. So, I'm a 2100. I could easily beat some low emeralds. I just have to work on getting some high emeralds. So, I'm going to start fighting them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.